Dow down 20 points to sit at 26,636. NASDAQ composite down not quite a point to 8119. S&P 500 down two points to 2931. Verizon and Google are teaming up to offer a new service to wireless customers. Verizon customers will soon be able to subscribe to YouTube TV and access it on whatever platform they choose, including mobile, phones, tablets, or TVs. Company is also expected to offer unique high-value YouTube promotions to customers. There are no specifics just yet on the cost of the service or a launch date. According to Verizon, details will be forthcoming later in the year. Walgreens and Rite Aid have announced they will start requiring customers to be at least 21 years old to purchase tobacco products in their stores. For Walgreens, the measure comes just weeks after FDA officials called the drugstore chain one of the top violators for allegedly selling cigarettes and smokeless tobacco products to minors. The new policy will go into effect September 1st. Now, Rite Aid announced the company is also planning to remove e-cigarettes and vaping products at all locations. Over 40% of Americans are breathing polluted air. It's according to the American Lung Association's latest State of the Air report. It shows 141 million people live in areas with unhealthy levels of ozone or particulate pollution, an increase of 7 million since the last report. Eight cities recorded their highest number of days with polluted air, and the nation saw more days with hazardous air quality than ever before. Another new study finds a link between obesity and brain structure. Researchers in the Netherlands looked at brain images for more than 12,000 adults. People with more body fat had smaller volumes of gray matter linked to processing and memory. They also had microscopic changes to the white matter responsible for the wiring of the brain. Chris? We have all heard those big fish stories, but we have a